best friends welcome back to my channel so Atina they sent me this wig a 360 and I just wanted to show you guys how I colored it so this is the packaging um, you get a stocking cap an elastic band and the wig of course all right so let's get straight to the tutorial I'm gonna use two boxes of dark and lovely I will leave the uh, the color and where I got it from down below in the description box so you only need two for this tutorial okay you need an applicator bottle and your color and developer of course so that's the color and that's the developer we're not going to use that because I'm going to use clear developer so you want to take your color pour it into the applicator box you want to do this for both of the boxes okay and then you're going to get this high lift booster in both of the boxes all right and so open it and pour it into the bottle as well all right and so because I want a good decent amount of lift I'm going to take 40 volume developer but in clear liquid form all right and I'm only using that because um, I wanted to lift a, more than four levels number one number two is that the clear developer is liquidy so it'll go through the hair um, easier than a cream would so it's it's easier to spread out okay if you want it to be very precise I will say use the cream but because this is just like an easy fast application I'm just gonna use the clear so I'm gonna mix everything together and I am going to go ahead and apply this on the wig so I already know I'm gonna get asked how much developer should I put in the bottle sin well you want to put the same amount of developer that was in the small developer bottle that I just tossed away into the big bottle, okay? So there's going to be measurements, ounces, that's going to be on that small bottle. Look at the ounces, and then you want to multiply it by two because you have two bottles. If you're going to use three, you want to multiply it by three, and then just add that into the bottle, okay? It's super simple, super easy. And so right here... Um, it's, I'm just going to apply the color and just massage it into the hair so I can make sure that it, get a, it gets on every strand and so it won't look like a harsh line I'm just gonna fade it upwards um, if you want to do this for if you want to if you want this color for your entire wig just put it on all the hair you're gonna need more than two bottles but two bottles was cool because I did like a little ombre looking joint you feel me um, now this is box dye so it's only going to lift to a certain amount you will have to do this step multiple steps multiple times in order to achieve the color that's on the box okay granted i only left the color on my hair for about 10 minutes before i washed it out because i didn't want it super blonde um it could get there it could get lighter if i probably left it on for the whole duration of the 35 40 minutes but i didn't do that So this is just showing you how I'm just going in and just massaging the color into the hair throughout the entire wig and like I said two bottles was just enough for a 24 inch wig. I believe this texture is water wave. I'm not sure. I will definitely leave the information down below in the description box for you guys because this was a bomb wig and if you want to achieve this exact same hair color and texture I would suggest um definitely ordering it because it, the hair held up pretty pretty good
after the color is on there I'm just massaging everything and like blending it so it won't have any harsh lines I am going to take a plastic bag and I'm going to put it inside the hair while it's, while it's still on my my wig stand okay and I'm going to use my plastic bag to capture the heat because I am going to sit it under the dryer that's the reason why I said I only had the color on there for 10 minutes because I use heat to help process it alright so after you let it sit under there for 10 minutes, mind you, watch your color job because you want to make sure it's lifting to the lift that you want it. Um, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use that, and then this is the color that I came out with. Like I said, if I wanted it lighter, I could have left it on there. If you if you um, go and leave it on for your 30 minute duration. And you want to lighter get two more boxes and do it again and you just keep doing that but you know I, w I wouldn't continue to use 40 volume developer I will go down to 30 because you do not want to damage your hair this is what my wig looks like after I washed it um, and I um, customized the hairline for installation all right so the hair is pretty brassy you can use purple shampoo but because it's that is that dark of a you know brown color the purple shampoo is not going to do much to it so um it, you know you can just wash it with regular shampoo i did go in with my silicone mix like i always do with any color treated hair well well any wig in general to you know keep my hair healthy and keep it like shiny and moisturized so it won't break and tangle up so I am going to start with my install. I'm going to take my Ruby Kisses in a shade 16 and, and I'm going to take a foundation brush and then I'm going to apply it all over my bald cap. And I'm going to go in with my alcohol to clean around my hairline because I did just put makeup on it and I want my glue to stick on my, I want my wig to stick down so my glue, my hairline needs to be clean for my glue. Alright? So the glue that I'm using is Bow Hold Active. This is my favorite glue to use. When I do use glue, I ran, ra I rarely use glue when it comes to installing. I like to use Bow Hold Liquid Gold because I am somebody who changes their unit often, daily. And Bow Hold Liquid Gold is a daily wear. You can wear it up to a week, I believe, with proper care. But I don't sweat around my hairline or my face, so Boho Liquid Gold is definitely something that is good for somebody who is a non-sweater or who isn't highly active, okay? So I applied three layers of my Boho Active, and once it was clear, I went ahead and I applied my wig in front of the glue. So you want to apply your hairline in front of the glue. Do not press your lace down into the glue until you are sure this is where you want your lace to sit. Because once you push it down, it's a done deal, girl. It ain't no moving that. And you want to pull it in front of the glue because when you cut off your lace, um, you're going to cut off a little bit of hairs, which is okay. Because I feel like it gives a character and it kind of customizes your hairline to your natural hairline. But also, you don't want to, you know have too much lace exposed and then you also don't want your lace behind the glue because it, then it'll get hard to, for you to clean up all right so I'm gonna take my eyebrow razor and I'm gonna just go ahead and cut off the lace and one thing I like doing is I like cutting my stocking cap to my hairline shape my natural hairline shape because when I go in with the glue I go in with the glue and apply it to the, the, the shape of the cap that is the shape of my hairline so when I cut the lace off it, it's all already the shape of my natural hairline so that's the reason why you know like people be like oh your hairline looks good well it's my natural shape of my natural hairline so I like doing that and maybe you guys should try that as well like but if you don't have a hairline that has like a, a shapely hairline like mine you could create your own alright so I'm gonna take my spritz and my baby hair brush and I am just going to go ahead and lay down my baby hairs and that's about about it for this video you guys this was super easy a super easy tutorial I think this wig took me about 40 45 minutes to like complete because I did sit it under the dryer after it was after I completed of uh, customizing it um, and then maybe another 20 minutes to apply the wig but other than that the hair is still super soft and I'm still wearing this wig to this day um, Atina thank you for sending me this wig um, I appreciate it this is a 360 
if you have a head size bigger than a 22.5 this might be a little too tight for you maybe I don't know if the company do have bigger sizes you can always ask them message them or look on their website I will leave all the information to this wig down below um, in the description box for you guys so you can go ahead and take a look at it but yeah um, because this is the 360 you can pull it up into a ponytail I did a half up half down and I wore it down as well so yeah, this was a little vibe, and this is an all year round wig color, hair color. You can wear it fall, spring, winter, summer, all throughout the year, and it's going to look cute on you. So until next time, bye best friends, and don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms. Okay, bye you guys.